Ministers and ministerial workers in the Church of Christ continue to diligently serve as strong helpers to the church administration in spreading the gospel and overseeing the welfare of the members. With unwavering commitment and dedication to fulfill their sacred duty wherever in the world they may be assigned. And as a result, the church administration consistently extends love and appreciation. In Northern California, pioneering ministers and their families in the United States receive something special for their dedication and diligence in fulfilling their duties. Let's take a look. Brother Isalino Z. Santos, I have been a minister for 64 years now. Brother Ruben A. Garcia, I entered the ministry in 1965. I was a volunteer worker when I entered the ministry. Because I started as a regular worker. That was June 10, 1966. Kapatid na Manuel B. Santos, January 1972, nang pumasok sa ministeryo. Brother Efren Aquino Tacmo. I started ministry in 1973. I've been in the ministry for 50 years. Kapatid na Dominador Santos, sa pagsisimula ng SFM na tinatawag ngayon, na noon ay EVCO, Pinalusong ako ng kapatid na Eranyo Manalo upang mag-aral sa ating paaralan. Brother Edgardo Manangkil, 49 years in the ministry with the help of God. Brother Ulysses M. Jukutan, I've been in the ministry for 48 years. Kapatid na Anton Dalmundo. Pumasok ako sa Banan ng Ministeryo noong 1975. Brother Jesse Del Rosario, I've been uh, in the ministry for 45 years now. I'm Brother Noel De Leon. I've been in the ministry for 43 years. I was ordained in 1980. Brother uh, Mariano Nukop. I've been ordained since 1981. That should be 42 years. The first time I learned I'll be assigned to the United States, there was, of course, the fear of the unknown. Because in those years, in 1970, are still pioneering years of the church outside the Philippines. Nagkaroon ako ng katuwaan sapagkat mapupunta sa abroad na yun ay natural na damdamin ng isang ministro pagka sinabi mapupunta sa iba yung dagat. At the same time, naroon ang pangamba paano ko makapag-a-adjust lalo pang at kapos na kapos tayo sa katangian bilang ministro na madinistino dito sa iba yung dagat. I was assigned in America 1978 in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I was supposed to be with the first bats. They found out that I'm not yet ordained. That's why when I was ordained and then included, I was very happy. Ang naging destino ko dito nga ay sa Virginia Beach, Virginia, at pakatapos ay sa Washington DC na tinatawag na Temple Hills ngayon. Makara ng isang taon at higit, higit dito ay bumalik ako sa Pilipinas. At uh, akin namang kinuha ang aking pamilya. Noong 1986, sabi ng KRD, kailangan mahanap na tayo ng auditor na, uh, na mag-aasikas doon. Tapos sabi ni KRD, alam mo na Diyo kung sino yung padadala natin. Eh, sino po? Yung kapatid mo. When I arrived in Reno, it seems that uh, Reno is not even uh, a new place for me because I came from uh, Benguet Mountain Provinces. Portland, Oregon was my first local congregation. And then, Daly City. That was 1996. They taught us in the school that we have to learn the culture, the history of where we will be assigned. It helped us as well 
to prepare ourselves. My first assignment is Long Beach, California. I left the Philippines in 1993. I would be assigned in Philadelphia, in the East Coast. In my local assignment of Los Angeles, we bought the first house of worship of the church outside the Philippines. After that, the house of worship in San Francisco was purchased by the church. Itong picture na ito ay nang isagawa ang unang bautismo sa Kailo Wakona na ngayon isang kongregasyon na. One of the challenges I can say is gathering the brethren, it was still a pioneering work. We had to post our address, phone number, even on laundry establishments, even the plate of our cars, we put there 1914 COC. So just in case the brethren see that, they honk. We found the brethren so many different ways. My fear was about uh, the culture, the language, because our work is to preach the gospel. And I was praying, of course, that uh, they would understand me. My first assignment was in Houston, Texas, and it's a culture shock indeed. They look down at that time, 1985, when it comes to people that are of different colors. The culture is totally different. We have these apprehensions, we have second thoughts, but the message of Brother Iranio to all of us, he said, I will not be able to see you anymore, and uh, you will be away from your families. But one thing that you will not be far away from, and that is our Father. We are just a prayer away from Him. My fear and my worries is, how can I convince non-Filipinos to the teachings of God? It dawned on me that the messenger, when he preached the gospel, he preached it in the way God wants it to. Sa pagiging ministro sa Jacksonville, Florida, ay mayroon tumawag sa akin na pastor na ang kanyang pinangangasiwa ang denominasyon ay protestante. Tinachallenge sa ko sa debate. Mayroon itong aking reliyon, tinatagoyod. Ang nangyari, nung ako ay makita, eh parang pipitsugin ang tingin sa akin. Hindi rin siya pumapatol sa hindi mahusay, hindi professional na debater. Kung baga sa ano, ay minemenos ang ministro na kakaharapin niya. Nagkaroon kami ng debate doon. Napahiya siya doon sa pagkakatoong iyon. Sabi ko sa kanya, eh, gusto mong tulungan kitang hanapin yung talatang binabas. Gusto mong basahin? Nakaipit-ipit siya sa mga tanong na aking itinatanong sa kanya. Gumagalang na siya sa akin nung pagkakataon na yun. That uh, loneliness of uh, being away from my family is uh, a big challenge. As I look back, in my ministry, what motivates me to overcome all the challenges is that it has always been proven what is written in Romans 8, 28, to those who love God, everything worketh for good. And in my 54 years in my ministry, it has been proven many times. Dito sa Amerika, mga extreme conditions din dito ay dinadaanan ng mga ministro. Totoo na pakapanganim na maglakbay pagka meron tinatawag na no storm. Sa pagdadrive pa lamang, ay hindi mo na halos makita ang daan dahil sa snow. Pare-pareho lang na puti ang dadaanan. Hindi mo malam kung yung dadaanan mo ay balo na.
ginagawa namin dahil sa mga ganong nasasagupa, unang-una ipinagpapanata at inihahanda namin palagi ang aming sarili. We uh, prayed to our Almighty God to give us that courage in order for us to fulfill our divine obligation. Masampalataya at uh, totoong nananalig ang isang ministro na ang Diyos ang magiging kasama maging sa napakapanganib na paglalakbay. Lahat ng pagsubukaya natin, buong kababaang loob na tanggapin, Tonight was a special recognition for uh, the ministers. This event was so inspiring, especially for those retired ministers and the, the widows of uh, ministers who have already uh, passed away, and e even pioneering trailblazers from the very early times. Thank you for all of the years of your faithful and loyal service, teaching us, correcting us, and guiding us along our journey. And we thank you with all our heart. I feel so grateful and thankful to Kai Eduardo, to the church administration, caring for all of us, and especially for the widows of the ministers. Uh, mas masarap kasing pakiramdam dahil may basbas. Yun ang mahalaga sa akin. Being inside the ministry, even though we have the test and the trials, the blessings come back to you insurmountable. You know, you cannot imagine. You, your husband, your wife, Until now, the church administration continuously exhorts, encourages, admonishes and strengthens us through the teachings of God written in the Holy Scriptures. Dr. Lyle arrived in the United States in 1997. It is my prayer that uh, up until that day when uh, my health is uh, not like this anymore, I could still be of help to the church administration. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Yuli, for all that you have done. Ang mga matatandang ministro natin, kahanga-hanga. Ang kanilang sakripisyo sa iglesia, hindi natin masusukat. At bilang isang anak, mula pa naman noon, bata pa ako, hanggang ngayon na ako'y ministro na rin. Ang aking nakita, naramdaman, yung pagmamahal at pagmamalasakit ng pamamahala. Sa ministro, sa pamilya ng ministro ay mapalakas, mapatibay, at maibigay din maging ang mga pangangailangang material na magagamit sa pagtupad. Andiyan palagi ang pamamahala. I will not forget that moment wherein Brother Eranio Manalo went out from his office and went to my office. And he said that my big concern now are the youth of the church. So much temptation. So when trials, difficulties comes, they might turn cold. That's why we should give attention to the youth. 
1984, na-establish po ang high school band. Ako ang unang naging pinaka-principal. At hanggang ngayon po, tuloy-tuloy na po yung high school band. And then, in America, 2015, as faculty member and as a registrar in the School for Minister here in Sacramento Extension. Namamalagi pa rin sa pagtuturo. I believe that God is giving me health, strength, sound mind, the drive to fulfill my duty because He still wants to use me for something very important. And that is, in the words of Brother Eduardo V. Manalo, he said, I'd like SFM Sacramento to produce good ministers of the church. That is the driving force or inspiration to me now. Natutuwa kami sapagkat pagka naturuan namin yung mga ministro ng mga magmamanggagawa, karagdagang tulog sa kapatid na Eduardo Manalo sa pangangasiwa at pangangalaga sa buong iglesia. There is no job on earth where God is the one that is hiring, except minister in the Church of Christ. Even the president of the most powerful country in the world is elected by people, but God is the one choosing, calling, electing you. Ang importante, masipag, matapat sa pamamahala, at lahat ng ipinagkatiwala ay gawin kung ano ang nararapat upang sa ganon ang tulong ng Diyos ay makakamit para sa tagumpay, para makapanatili sa tungkulin sa loob ng ministeryo. We have God with us. That's what we, we hold on to steadfastly. The church administration always tells us, your salvation hinges on only just you are being an Iglesia Ni Cristo member. Our salvation hinges on our being ministers up till the end. God is our benefit in the ministry because God said, I am your inheritance. You need to keep going to hold on to the duties that God has given to us until we finish our race. I'm waiting for my salvation, making it to heaven. That's what motivates me to keep holding on. For one thing, my life is something where God proved to me how He cares for me. It is normal for uh, every human being that as you age, your body somehow grows weaker, your health is affected. But I'm so grateful to God up to now because somehow I'm still able to help our executive minister, Brother Eduardo B. Manalo. And I always say to myself that I will do it until my last breath. Patuloy tayong kaisa ng pamamahala sa lahat ng bagay. Kaysa lokal, kaysa paaralan, sa lahat ng angulo. Hindi tayo pwedeng humiwalay sa kanilang diwa, sa kanilang layunin. Maging kadiwa tayo nila sa pagmamalasakan. Sa mga kapatid, kahit sa mga nag-aaral ngayon sa pagkaminister. What the administration wants, that all members will be saved. Of course, we want to be saved. We don't want that the labors of the administration, our labors and sacrifices, will end up in vain or nothing. May it be that with God's help, me and my family, together with the administration, will receive salvation come the day of judgment.
itong appreciation o itong pagkilala sa mga retirado, mga pioneer, ng mga ministro, napakalaking bagay. Hayag na hayag na ipinagmamalasakit ng ating tagapamahalang pangkalata ng kapatid na Eduardo Manalo, ang mga ministro at mga magkagawa. Ordained in 1977, Brother Ruben Garcia. My boy was ordained in 1980. Brother Edgardo S. Monarchia. Brother F. Sixty local congregations during his ministry. All of us, thank you so much for all that you have done over the years. Come what we we admire you and we will never forget you. The work that they have done has not been forgotten. It was a further solidifying of that compassionate intent of the church administration. And that intent was received, that they are loved and cared for by Brother Eduardo V. Manalo, the church administrator today. As I look back, problems don't discourage me. The most challenging experience, God turned it out to be the biggest blessing. Yung isipan namin na kung ano yung pinagagawa, matapos namin. Tapusin na may katapatan, tapusin na may merong layunin sa kalwalatian ng Diyos sa kalwalatian ng iglesia at yun ang aming isipan. Ang aking panata gabi-gabi at ako yung nagpapapahid na lang is pagalingin ako ng Diyos sa karamdaman para makatulong sa pamamahala para maitaguyod ang iglesia. Papasalamat din ako na ang aking dalawang anak ay naging mga ministro. Biniyayaan ang aking dalawang anak na maging mga tagapangasiwa na isang napakadakilang kaloob ng Panginoon Diyos. Masasabi ko na nasa huling yugto na nga ako ng aking ministeryo. Sa aking pagkakasakit ay akin pa rin sinisikap na kahit sa pangasiwa ng pagsamba ay makatulong ako sa iglesia sa pamamahala upang ang mga inirang ang mga kapatid ay maging masigla sa paglilikot at pagsamba sa Panginoon Diyos. Sa nalalabing panahon ko, hanggang sa ako'y papagpahingahin. You are an example to us, sir. We will continue to help in this part of the world. Hindi po namin malilimot ang pag-ibig na inyong kulinyo at patuloy pang inyong ukol sa buong iglesia at lalo na nga sa amin na mga retired na ministro. May naalaala pa rin ninyo kami. Our life has meaning now because we are in the ministry. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Paul. Salamat po ng maraming maraming sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat po. We love you so much. Salamat po ng maraming po, sir. Thank you so much, po, ka Eduardo. Maraming maraming salamat po. We are in this school for ministers because of your trust. Maraming maraming salamat po. Well, that does it for us on INC News World. Tune in every Sunday for new episodes on INC TV and every Saturday on incmedia.org, our YouTube channel, and on streaming platforms. I'm Richie Ferreira. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time. God bless. Bye.